Today, I'm going to try to build a DIY fishing rod carrier. This uh, rod carrier is for transporting on a plane. A uh, co-worker and I have a, a trip to take over to Panama. We're only going to be there uh, for roughly 24 hours uh, for our personal time. So we took an extra day off. Uh, we're going to be uh, going over to Jungle Land Lodge, which is up the Panama Canal. We're going to stay at an all-inclusive lodge, floating lodge, over there and, uh, and see if we can get into some peacock bass. But we want to take our own fishing rods and saltwater reels. So we make sure we've got good gear that works properly. And uh, so that's what I'm doing today. I've got a couple of rods that breaks down. They, uh, they just slide in and out. And uh, so they basically come in half. And uh, they're roughly 40 some inches long whenever they're uh, broke down. And so I'm going to create a rod carrier that will support the rods, my lures with the big hooks, because they probably won't let me carry that onto the plane. And um, the, the reels, the reels going to go on a carry-on luggage. But the rods, the fish grips, the lures, all that will go on the rod too. So that is today's project. I'm also going to try to braid a uh, strap, a carry strap, um, out of 550 parachute cord. Everybody knows this 550 parachute cord comes in really handy during emergencies and other situations. So it'll be nice to have attached to the rod carrier in case we need it for some reason. So anyways, that's today's project. I'm going to head outside, out to the barn, and get after it. Before I get started on this project, how about a little tip for the day? For you aspiring woodworkers, if you're limited on space, this Harbor Freight scaffolding works excellent. I've got two sets of this stuff, and this is what I put my tools on, with the exception of like my Ryobi table saw. It has wheels. I can wheel everything right out here outside the barn and do all my woodworking out here in the, in the weather. You know, it has to be nice, but um, it keeps me from dusting up everything in my barn. In the barn, you know, I've got kayaks, lawn mowers, sailboat, all kinds of stuff and if you start cutting on stuff with table saws and sliding miter saws planers you're gonna have dust everywhere so little tip the scaffolding works great one more little tip don't loan out your stuff to people that don't have the tools that they're wanting if their tool broke and they need it yeah that might be fine but if they never had scaffolding, they never had power tools, don't loan it to them. I loaned out my scaffolding and they left it out in the weather. And when I finally got it back, the wood was completely, nearly destroyed. So I've got to replace the uh, flooring of this scaffolding. And the paint's all faded from the UV rays. So just another little tip if you want to keep your stuff in working okay, order. Okay, this is what I've got for my trip to Panama. I've got two rods that break down. Each one's six and a half foot long. So what I've got to do is I've got to create a tube that will accommodate the rod and allow for the eyes to slide in there and also because I'll probably have some large hooks for fishing for the peacock bass um, I need to have enough room in there to put some kind of tube tackle box or a, a flexible tackle bag inside the tube. The reels, the saltwater reels that I'm going to be taking, that's going to go in my carry-on luggage. If this stuff gets stolen, eh, I'm out a little bit of money, but not as much money if I, if they steal my saltwater reels. So that's our project today: is making one of these uh, these rod holder, rod carrier tube cases, so it'll go on an airline without the airline or TSA having a fit. So we're looking at roughly 40, 40 and a half inches long. I'll make it a little bit longer so I can put some rubber padding on the inside, on both ends, just to keep it from rattling around, bouncing around, because uh, it may shock you, but um, the baggage handlers at the airport aren't just real careful with the bags. All right, this is what I'm gonna be using 
for the tube. All this is is thin walled PVC pipe. Flip this around so you can read it. Three inch PVC sewer pipe. This is new sewer pipe. It is not used. Thin walled. I believe this stuff is probably 26 gauge, something like that. On each end of the rod, I have the thin walled PVC pipe caps. This unscrews, which will allow you access to your rods. Just like that. Now, you can put a blocking mechanism on here. Just keep in mind, it needs to be one of those TSA approved padlocks if you do it. This is the color scheme I'm going to go with the uh, rod carrier. Obviously black for the ends using Krylon Fusion. It's uh, designed for plastics so it should work pretty good on this PVC pipe. And then obviously a kind of a desert tan look for the main body. Should look pretty good once I'm completely finished with it and I've got the uh, braided paracord attached to it. measure twice cut once in my case measure three times stare at it for a while study it measure it again and then cut but I want to go ahead and just uh, bring it up to 21 uh, 41 inches even hear that 21 that's why you measure it twice so 41 inches Cut it off and be ready to glue up the ends. Forty one inches. 